the secret side of me. Hey guys, BioLizard1 here, and today I'm gonna bring you another Wi Fi battle, and this is a Wi Fi battle against Beasto5000. He truly is my best friend here at YouTube, so be sure to check out his channel. The link will be in the video description, and let's go to this battle. As you guys can see, this is an underused battle. Um, I'm starting off with my Torterra, who has kind of some tricks up its sleeve, which will be revealed later on in the game. Um, I see that he starts off with a Blaziken. Obviously, I can't do a lot with my Torterra against Blaziken, because one heat wave would definitely cripple my Torterra. So I decided to switch out into my specially defensive wall, my Lotic, and yeah, that works out pretty great for me. I go for the Surf, I can bring him down to his Focus Sash, however I thought that some kind of um, counter move was coming, or I can't really remember the name, when, uh, yeah, Reversal, that's it, I thought Reversal was coming there, but no. Um, so... He switches out into Alakazam, and here I was really expecting a stab Psychic, but he he carries the uh, Energy Ball, which is better against Malatic, obviously. And I decide to switch out into my Houndoom, maybe predicting that st stab Psychic. And after I saw how much damage that damage that did, I was pretty sure that it would be um, Choice Specs because I didn't see the recoil damage, and he switched out on my turn when I switched into Houndoom. So now he goes into a Houndoom of his own, and actually I have nothing to harm this Houndoom with my own Houndoom. So basically the best thing I can do is switch out to, into my Malotic, because when I saw that it was a special attacker with Nasty Plot, the best thing I can do is basically bring in my special defense wall. Now he switches in a uh, Feraligator, and I was really hoping that it, this wouldn't be a Dragon Dancing Feraligator, uh, because I don't have a lot against this one. And I just decided to go for a Toxic because that way he won't be able to sweep me that badly. But he's carrying the leftovers, and I was really surprised because running leftovers on this Feraligator isn't just too wise, in my opinion. Because with Life Warp, after two Dragon Nests, it can really rape teams apart. So he goes for another Dragon Dance, setting up three, and he's like um, messaging me on Skype, like I'm going to set up totally on you, and I'm like, let's wait for that. But I'm trying here, I'm trying to uh, stall him out with the Toxic, because basically it's the best thing I can do. Um, so here he went for an Earthquake, and I totally forgot about the Earthquake on Feraligator. I uh, was keep having in my mind that uh, a Stab Waterfall wouldn't be able to do a lot against me, but I totally forgot about the Earthquake, which was kind of a noobish mistake, actually. And Earthquake, after three Dragon, dragon Dances, doesn't even finish me off in one hit. So that kind of shows what kind of a beast this Milotic is. And here I figured that one waterfall wouldn't be able to finish off my uh, Feraligator in one hit. So I switched out into my Levitator, which is Ms. Magius. And I was hoping um, that Toxic would wear him down this turn. But he survives like with negative 1 HP. And that is really bad for me, because now I have to sacrifice one Pokemon in order to take down this Feraligator um, due to the Toxic. And um, I... I was hoping that he would get minimum damage and that I maybe survived the Stab Waterfall, but Stab plus um, Torrent ability after 3 dragon, dragon Dances is definitely going to finish him off. So now he goes into Alakazam while I go into my lead, and here I didn't really know for sure that uh, this Alakazam would be either a Choice Scarfed or Choice Spexed, and I really didn't want to take a Signal Beam to the face, so therefore I switched out into my um, into my Houndoom, which was kind of a bad switch. Luckily it paid off because it was a double switch, and otherwise I would have been finished off by a Signal Beam. But he goes into Swallow, Swallow gets the Toxic Orb, and he... And because most people expect the uh, rock polish, I just decided to go for a head smash straight away because it will do damage on anything on his team. Because I have seen his entire team, um, his, in te his team nearly entirely at this point of the game. So now we go for the aqua tail simply because it's more accurate than head smash and I really didn't want to miss it. So that is a dead spirit tomb. And now he goes into Houndoom. Um, 
I was hoping that he would go for the stab fire blast, but he doesn't. He predicts my switch like a pro and goes for a nasty plot. Basically, the best thing I can do here is do some damage with my Hound Doom with Sucker Punch. Um, I know that I will die to um, either do his Sludge Bomb, and that is one dead Hound Doom. So now we're going to my Torterra. He doesn't know that my Torterra is Choice Scarfed. So I go for the Earthquake, and Earthquake is going to take down this uh, Houndoom with relative ease. Now he probably knows that I'm Choice Scarfed, and he and he goes into Swallow, dodging the Earthquake very nicely. And I go into Miss Magius, maybe expecting a facade, but he expects that switch into Miss Magius and goes into his Alakazam. Um, here I went for a Destiny Bond because I figured that a Spexalakazam can nearly one hit KO me with anything. Uh, he goes for a Stab Shadow Ball, gets a critical hit, but Choice Specs, uh, not Stab Shadow Ball, sorry for that. Uh, Choice Specs uh, Shadow Ball is going to finish off my Miss Magius. And um, because I went for the Destiny Bond, his Alakazam is going to die as well. Now I'm just going to go into my Mr. Monster who can take like any hit of this Swallow and that will be a good game after a head smash. So good game here Beasto, I really enjoy battling you. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe my videos. And yeah, see you for next battle. See you. So here we are again with another question of the day, and in this question of the day I'm going to ask about your favorite setup sweeper in the underused metagame. With setup I mean like Pokemon that need rock, um, rock polish or some other move to boost up their speed and sweep teams in the underused metagame. Um, I really like Agron because Agron is all powerful and it looks just creepy and I really like it. So, um, I also like Swallow because it's not a setup sweeper, but it needs Protect to activate Guts and then it can really tear apart teams. So, basically, what's your favorite setup sweeper in the underused metagame? Leave your answer as a reply to this video. Also, can I ask you to uh, like my video because by clicking the like button, my video will get more popular and that way... Um, I can get some more subscribers and that will always be nice. So uh, please help me out here, click the like button, reply to the question of the day in the comment section and see you next time guys. Peace out.